there guys, this is me, Malorian, and this will be a double header of Gil Ball Battle Reports. Now, I have been getting myself into Season 3, starting to put together some combos, and starting to learn the game. Uh, but now, I'm going to be up against Jordan Murphy. Jordan Murphy was the Canadian champion that went to SteamCon for the big tournament there. And uh, yeah, he's part of the Playtesters group, so he knows Season 3 pretty well and he's uh you know one of those guys who's pretty good at the game so i'm not gonna have an easy time now back in season two i could give him a pretty good game you know it wasn't that i was being steamrolled all the time i was a pretty good opponent to kind of test him and even though he'd win most of the games hey at least i can make him work for it and now i'm going to see how this is going to go in season three so I'm going to be using my Union, and a little bit different than last time. Last time I learned that Harry the Hat is awesome, and also that Minx is awesome, but I need to try and test out some different things. So I'm going to be trying out Mist this game, and also Hemlock. And now Hemlock is going to be pretty important this one, because Jordan is going to be using his Alchemist, and of course with all the conditions and all those things, it really helps to have someone like Hemlock there who can just clear it away. She did change a little bit where now she doesn't heal as well. It just clears the conditions, but hey, that's still pretty dang good. Now, he won the roll and wanted me to kick to him. I decided to do this with Mist so I can really, really threaten him. Mist also kind of lost a little bit of his threat uh, now that he doesn't have the big, huge 4-inch dodge. Now it's only a 2-inch, but still a very, very dangerous threat for getting a goal. So I'm wondering what he's going to do with the ball here hoping to get a score and seeing where this game goes. So the first thing he's going to do is come up here with Vitriol and is going to be passing it over to Harry the Hat. So ball's kind of gone a long way, but it's still somewhere I can get to it. So I want to give this a try to see if I can actually get in there and get the ball. I decided to go for it with Miss. Now, if I am going to have this work, I had to charge in and be able to actually get a wrap so I could tackle the ball and get a momentous result so I could then shoot it into the net. Unfortunately, I did not roll what I needed. It was, I don't know what the odds were. It's not like it was like a really likely thing, but it was still something that was like 50-50-ish. So I thought, hey, let's just give it a try. So I did not get the wrap. I did steal the ball. And so if nothing else, I should now be a pain while I can start getting in there and start beating up some of these guys. His next play then will just be going with Vitrol, who's going to come over to me just to engage me and make it so the other guys will get an extra dice whenever they attack. And so with me trying to set things up, I put the tool up onto Blackheart and then move up there with Rage so that now I can kind of really threaten things and Blackheart's in a position to really do some, some real work. Uh, then he's going to come in here with Harry the Hat and yeah, Harry the Hat can really kind of mess me up. You know, with all the pushes, he can move me where he wants, knocks me down really easily, you know, gets the ball over there to compound, and yeah, Mist is in a lot of trouble. Uh, past that then, I decide to go up there with Coin, and I do the bag of coffers to Hemlock, so that she can get up there and hopefully do something neat. Then he's going to be going with Compound, and Compound's going to start messing up on Mist, and Mist is still, you know, alive, but it's just like, by the skin of his teeth he's down to like two boxes so you know he's gonna die and hopefully this is all gonna be worth it uh, he also gets the ball over to Midas and from what I learned is that Midas in mark 3 is pretty crazy for getting goals and enabling his team so we'll have to kind of see how that pans out so what I do next is just kind of moving up with decimate not really any plan with him and then he's going to play Sikkim. Now, with this here, that's going to allow him to get a, a free charge, basically, with his mascot. So his mascot charges into me, and I guess this can be huge, because if he gets a bunch of wraps and things, uh, he can actually get a lot of damage here with Flask. Luckily for me, he rolls pretty poorly, only does, like, one more damage or something. So I'm still alive, but, yeah, it would have been kind of embarrassing if a mascot took me out. So next up, I'm going to be having to go up here with my Hemlock, and I'm going to be throwing down the little Noxious Gas, and I'm not going to be able to poison Midas, but I am able to get poison onto Vitriol, so hey, that's something. 
So what I was hoping to do is be saving Blackheart to either be going after Vitriol or Midas if we got too close. But yeah, Midas just went and showed me why he's just so good. So he basically comes in here and is able to attack and kind of move around and dodge around, dodge around, and then easily get a goal. And then even though I had a cool new plot card, which now lets me put like a Vengeance token onto him, he also gets to do his slider, which just moves him way out of the way. And because he's scoring after his legendary all my guys are snared all of them so all of a sudden the threat range that I thought I had is completely wrong and uh, yeah if I wanted to actually get to him I'd have to actually use my own legendary for probably not very much work so yeah this is just a whole bunch of not very good and of course he scored so now he's up for nothing so what I decided to do is try and set up a little bit of a defensive line here Blackheart goes, Shadow likes into the ball, grabs it, then kind of drops it here behind my lines, and I'm basically just saying, all right, let's do this, come into this, and I'm just going to fight this out. I know you're going to go first, you're probably going to kill off Mist or something like that, but then I can go and I can beat you down. So, of course, he win wins a roll because he had a bajillion momentum from all this and I had nothing. And that's when I quickly realized I'm a moron. Because Midas, with all of his dodging and all these things here, is very easily going to sneak through, get that ball, and score again. So, this whole defensive line thing I did, completely a waste. And I basically just handed him another goal. So, yeah, that's what he does. Minus comes in again, and he goes after it, and just, like, dances around Blackheart, and eventually just grabs the ball and shoots it in. So, just like that, now it's 8 nothing. I get the ball off to the left side, hoping he can't get to it, but, yeah, I am losing very quickly. So wanting to kind of clear conditions and setting things up for later, I decided to go with Hemlock, who does her little smelling salts here to be getting the snared off of uh, Decimate and Blackheart. And then she's just kind of like runs up there to kind of be engaging Vitriol and just trying to hopefully set that up for later. However, there's not going to be anything else because really Calculus comes down here, snags the ball, passes it over to Midas. Now, Midas can do any of the teamwork stuff for one less momentum and already had up the super shot for making him shoot farther and better. So he does a little snapshot and uh, yeah, just really costs one momentum and he's able to score again. And that's the game. I couldn't believe it. This game took almost no time at all. I've just lost 12 nothing and gotten completely steamrolled. Now, this is a new thing with learning Midas, and of course, Jordan knows what he's doing with Midas, but uh, wow, this was a huge beating, and the only good news is that he crushed me so quickly that we have time for another game. So we rack up again here, and he's going to be now the one kicking to me, so I won that roll. However, he kicked it way off here to the side. So. I can get to it with Decimate going over and going second win, but yeah, I'm not going to really get it back to me to start getting some momentum going. So yeah, this will be interesting. So really what I'm trying, planning to do is the same normal thing. I'm going to go over there with Decimate, grab the ball, bring it back, and then just try and load up Blackheart to try and get some damage going, win first turn, next turn, and start the takeout dance going. So that's what I do. I go a second win with Decimate sprints over here grabs the ball and then second wins away to just keep this ball safe i even just dropped it behind me again just to try and keep it away from him uh next he's gonna be going with flask here coming up here just making a cloud so nothing really too scary yet i'm then going to be going with the same play where i go with rage but tooled up into blackheart and then he moves up to be threatening everyone he decides then to go with Vitriol, and Vitriol is just really getting to a spot where she can threaten Decimate in my ball. Uh, then I'm going to be going with Coin, who again is going to be doing Bag of Coffers to Hemlock. That's been working out pretty well so far. Then he's going to be coming up here with uh, Harry the Hat, and is going to be throwing out this little burning cloud. Just really trying to throw it out here and getting in my way. And uh, again, I mean, I've already realized that Harry the Hat is pretty damn good in Mark 3, or Season 3, I should say. And uh, I'm kind of missing not having him. 
So otherwise, what I do is decide to kind of go up there with Mist, because what I'm kind of seeing here is that he can really send somebody into me. I mean, really, Rage looked kind of safe, but what he can easily do is go up there with Midas, and he has his Allure of Gold, or whatever it's called, so he can bring Compound up there and then be in charge range. So I'm trying to do this here, so if he really wants to get to Rage, then I'm going to be engaging him with Mist as well. And really, from what I've seen, if he wants to take out Mist, whatever. So that's what he's going to do. He's going to be coming up here with Midas, and then doing his little allure to be bringing up Compound. Next thing I'm going to do then is come up here with Hemlock, and I'm going to hit all these guys here with the Noxious Gas, and I'm going to poison them all. So this is awesome. If I can start just like kind of like weakening them with conditions, it'll be easier for the takeouts later. Uh, this is actually going to be two pictures in one, but what happens here is that Calculus comes up and she's going to be blinding Blackheart. And that's bad enough because nobody likes being blind, but the other part of this is too is that Hemlock had an extra influence that I thought I just didn't need to use, but I could have done my own blind. I, I always forget that she is blind and that it's so good, and if I would have put a blind on a compound, that would have really taken away some of the damage. So. Once Blackheart was blinded, he was like, well, not much I can do. Just came up here to get some cover and trying to be in a spot where I can threaten everything later. So then he does come in here in the compound and really starts to wail here onto poor Mist, knocking him down, pushing him over to get around the other guys. And again, I just wish I would have blinded compound, but hey, dumb mistake. So after the first round, hey, I, I don't have any goals against me, so that's good. It's currently 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, however, of course, he got way more momentum than me because he actually did stuff. And so he's going to be going first. So Decimate has a whole bunch of influence, so he can get the ball and be attacking Vitriol if needed. And otherwise, it's the same type of thing. Just loading up on Blackheart, putting two on a Hemlock, one on a Rage, and... I mean, I got a lot of these conditions out there, just hoping I can start whittling these people down. So he goes first, and I always hate the way this works. Uh, basically, Vitriol charges over here to get to Decimate, uh, picks up the ball that I left behind me, and then boots it off the board. And I always forget that this is a thing, because when somebody boots it off the board, you scatter it, scatter it from the middle, and so where I thought it was keeping it away from him, now it just scattered off of the middle, it got the flask, and yeah, this is all of a sudden a live game again. So trying to deal with this, I decide to try and go with Blackheart and maybe even get a goal first. Uh, there's a way that I could actually sneak through the line, start attacking flask, and if I got the right rolls, I could grab the, the ball and then start kind of like dodge my way over and get a goal. So everything really went to plan, but I got greedy. When I charged in, I decided to do some damage instead, just trying to get that momentum, doing some early damage, why not? And then whenever I attacked after that, I just did not have the rolls I needed, could not tackle the ball, and so I was basically just sitting there like an idiot. So I really should have tackled the ball right away. I could have tried kicking it in the ball now and being four, nothing. But hey, now it's zero, zero, and block card's done pretty much nothing. So that's bad. So on him then, he decides to go with Compound, and Compound now is going to be switching over to Rage and really just kind of messes him up. I mean, now Rage is knocked down, and there's a Fire Token there, I'm not really sure how that works, but either way, Rage is kind of pretty beat up, and you know, the fact that he's engaged in all these things too, means I'm probably not going to get my free charges and all that cool stuff, so yeah, not really good. Uh, so I decide then instead to go with the snake and of course do bag of coffers over to Hemlock again. So next up he's going to be going with Harry the Hat because even though the ball was on Flask, the problem was that since I was engaging Flask, uh, he wouldn't be able to actually drop the ball to get it to Midas. And so with me you'd be engaging him with Blackheart, that had to change. So really, you know, Harry the Hat just comes over, attacks Blackheart, and just pushes him away, and now Flask is ready to do whatever he wants. So then, with me trying to do something with this then, I decide to go up here with 
actually Hemlock, and Hemlock's going to be coming up here to Midas, just trying to kind of get up here and into his grill. Uh, I believe he's already, yeah, he already went and did his reactionary or unpredictable movement when Blackheart did his thing. So now I'm engaging him and making things a little bit more difficult for him. And just to have some fun, I get some more poison out there so that now Harry the Hat and Flask are poisoned as well. So again, just try and get all this condition damage out there to help me get something later on. Uh, so what he decides to do then is really come in here with Flask, and Flask is just going to be kind of engaging both these people, but before he does that, he drops the ball, so now Midas has it, and now i got to see what Midas is going to do. So trying to do something here, I decide to go with Mist, and I just kind of like forego my movement and stand back up. So now it's another person who's engaging Midas, again, just trying to make it a little bit more difficult. Next up then, he's just going to go with Calculus, and Calculus will come around and engage these guys again to make it kind of easier to beat them up. Things are getting a little bit messy in the center. And so, what I decide to do here is I decide to go with Rage. Now, with Rage, I use the momentum to stand myself up so that I'll be able to kind of like go away and attack and all this cool stuff. So, what the plan was, was to attack Compound, knock him down, and then charge over to Calculus. Well, he does a counterattack. I don't do enough to get a knockdown. And then, yeah, he is able to counterattack, knock me down. And, uh, yeah, so he's bleeding. So there's more conditions on the compound. But Rage has basically achieved nothing. Uh, otherwise, what happens then is that Midas is able to still sneak through. You know, with all of his plays and all that cool stuff. He's able to come through, go for a super shot again, get a goal, and of course, because he legendary first, all my guys are snared again. I'm really starting to get tired of Midas. Uh, so yeah, he is now winning for nothing. I get the ball way over here to the right, and just hoping I can stop him from getting to it. Otherwise then, I go decimate and start slicing up Vitriol, and starting to get her weakened. And that's going to be it. So he's going to be winning the ability to go first. And with this, I'm going to be hoping that Decimate can be finishing off Vitriol. Uh, I'm also hoping that Blackheart can take somebody out and Rage again. You know, it's the same thing all the times with this list. I don't know if that's a problem with the list or it's too predictable. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to get to the ball. But what can I do? I need to try and get some points on the board. So the first thing he's going to do is he's going to come in here with Harry the Hat and start wailing on to Mist and knocking Mist down again. So he's <laughs> almost down, but, you know, still still in the game. Uh, then I'm going to go with Rage, and I'm going to be trying to come in here after Midas. Uh, actually, no, I'm going after Compound, and Midas decides to unpredictable movement around, and so I'm able to then attack Midas as well. So, again, trying to get these bleeding tokens all over you know everyone's really starting to take a lot of damage from conditions so that's pretty good but i also made it so that midas is closer to the ball and that seems bad next up then he decides to go with compound and he's going to really beat up on rage so rage is knocked down and all these bad things and uh yeah not really good i mean rage does not like sitting on his ass otherwise then i decide to finally get some points and i go decimate take out vitriol so now i actually have points guys it's now a four to two game for him and now decimate starting to work his way to the center of the board uh next up here he's gonna go with his little robot and flask is going to destroy me because he is going to attack me and with all the little buddies in here and all that cool stuff he's able to do whatever ability it is where if it's a pulse and if you have conditions on you it does like a damage for each one or something like that but either way he just gets a super pulse off and it's gonna be taking out rage and mist so yeah all of a sudden he is now winning eight to two because a little mascot just took out two of my guys so trying to do something i decide to go in here with blackheart and try and get some revenge and with that i start slicing away at flask just trying to take out a robot or something but my dice super, super suck, and I even fail to do that. So then all he needs to do is go with Midas, go over to the ball, super shot, shoot in the net, and he wins this one 12 to two. So hey, that's better than 12 nothing, but yeah, he definitely schooled me twice in a row. And after this game, I was actually very, almost kinda like, 
I, I don't want to call it really depressed, but I was just kind of more in shock. Where in season two, I was a pretty competent union player and I could kind of hold my own. But now that everything has changed, I just need to get back into it. I'm always being now surprised by what the opponent can do again. My old tricks don't work anymore. So I really have to hit the, the blackboard again and try and figure out this game so I can actually be competitive again. So there you go guys. Uh, there's Jordan Murphy doing what Jordan Murphy does. So if you have any thoughts on the game or anything like that, please post it down below. But otherwise, we'll catch you later. Bye. Hey there, if you liked watching this video, please go down and give it a like down uh, below you here. And if you have any concerns or questions or comments, please put those in the comment section as well. You know, the best way for me to give you what you want to see is if you tell me what you like seeing and what you don't like seeing. So otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.